wig. I feel like, who I look like RuPaul? No, he'll look prettier than me right now. He really got it, the bone structure going on, RuPaul. Dummy nail. Hello, hello, hello. Greetings, Lee Shelly. Yes. Welcome back to another episode of the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. Starring why me in this messy week. <laughs> Your ladybug, Lisa Michelle. Y'all, today, today, today. Oh, oh, oh. Y'all, today, 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 we're doing a messy wig challenge by my girl, Miss Sugar, Miss Sugar, Miss Sugar, 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 Sugar. And I ain't gonna tell y'all how long this challenge is. It's like one, I'm gonna put it like this, it's 365 days old. That's how it is. 365 day old oh, as all it is it's messy wig that's all it is with my messy wig miss sugar on the scene with the messy wig challenge she want us to eat a messy meal something that includes some sauce or whatever alfredo sauce butter sauce savory sauce whatever i got some sweet and sour sauce a messy meal and have a messy story time what? Miss Sugar, I ain't really messy no more. I do have some messy stories, though. But I ain't gonna even share them because I don't want them to come for me. Child, but I'm gonna tell you something that my brother did. Put it on him. He did this just this weekend. He and my two brothers, Marlon, who y'all don't know, which I will, and my brother, Harold Jr., who y'all do know, who sure enough is messy, and he the one that was messy, Harold Jr. So let's pray over our food, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, O oh God, for this food and the drink that you've placed before me. I pray, O oh God, that it will be nutritional to my body and not cause any hurt, harm, or danger to your daughter in any way. In the holy and mighty name of Jesus Christ, I do pray. Amen, amen, amen. Hey, bless it, beat it rock. Bless it, beat it rock. Hey, bless it, beat it rock. Here on Lisa Eats. Hey, bless it, beat it rock. Hey. Bless it, beat it, rock. Let's call it up. Bless it, beat it, rock. Hey, here on Carter's Eats. Y'all, I got that from Miss Sugar because she said that her video. And I love me some Lisa Carter. Y'all know them. Come and commit the stick. Y'all know Lisa. Come and commit and stick. That's my girl from Carter's Eats. Yeah, the Carter's, they do eat. That's all the slogan, and Miss Sugar was saying it, and I said it because she said it, and we both love us some Lisa Carter from Carter's Eat. Okay? This is on Sweet and Sour, Sour Lee Shelly is. How y'all doing today? Y'all, Lee Shelly, let me tell y'all. Child, this makes me. Child, y'all, my little palette, <clears throat> my little palette is changing. You heard me? You feel me? No cap is changing. Child, your girls beginning to like some sweet stuff. Now, y'all, if y'all remember back in my earlier videos, I wouldn't have that. Oh, what we got here is some shrimp lo mein, and I got some sweet and sour chicken in it that I had from the other day. So mixed together. So shrimp lo mein and sweet and sour sauce. I got some white rice underneath here with some ground spicy turkey chili. It's so good and savory. And I got some fried chicken and I got my own um, spicy savory sauce right there. That's what I got. And I'm hungry. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Child. Bless it be the rock. We just got to have an Easter Sunday. Mm. I'm hot. Child would have never, ever thought I would have ate sweet and savory together. Y'all, I'm looking at my camera because somewhere on my camera, I mean, not my camera, my laptop has been cutting up, cutting off for whatever reason, but yet it might have been cutting off right with it. So, mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. They mess you. My two still, little soul over here getting a little better though. 
Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Just woke up from a good old nap. Y'all see that? Oh, y'all, y'all was home. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Lee Shelly and Chad. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm, 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 mm. 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 What's going on this time? You know what I need to do? Oh, y'all. Oh, strawberry Perrier. I need to reboot it, reset it. That's what I'm going to do. I thought to do it just then, but I didn't have time. I want to hurry up. I was getting hot. What my straw eel? What a straw eel? Ouchie. But y'all, let me go and start my stir. Cause y'all know, I ain't trying to hold y'all long at all. I'm trying to learn how to get in and out. You okay? Mm. Yeah. Get some of this chili. Y'all. Mm. I love you, babe. I love you, babe. I'm not going over the food, child. I'm not. I'm not whipping my hair back and forth like Willow say over the food. I'm not. Hmm. 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 Hot, 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 hot. Ooh, y'all see that thing, child? Hmm. My tooth is getting better, like I say, but I have a I made me a dentist appointment right here in Houston, Texas, my own dentist. And I think they made it for the 13th of April. But baby. I don't have any more. What's it called? 800 milligrams of ibuprofen. I don't have any more of that. So I think you can't get that over the counter. I need to get that from a prescription child. And when I went to Mexico to get my root canal, they um I only got like 10. They only gave me 10. And child, I've been it's been two weeks now. I went to Mexico on the 18th of March. And child, that's been two weeks ago. On the Thursday. Here y'all. Thank y'all for watching the video the other day. A meal them eggs for Trey and Nene. I hop two times two times two. I had fun doing that. Whew. And I think I did a was it Zach's piece? No, it was um what's the Chinese place restaurant? I had I did that some weeks ago, child, and I just put it out. So I had two videos on Saturday. Mm. Mm. Hope y'all can see the green screen. They say good. Child, my son. My son eat more hot stuff, more stuff than me. Eating all my stuff up. Mm -mm. Anyway. It's getting better, but it's still soap. So I need some more ibuprofen, and I need them to look at it, make sure it's doing right. Okay, sorry, Doctor. Um, I forget his name. Oh, Y'all know his name. I forgot right now. Anyway, my message story is child, my brother from New Orleans, my brother Marlon. Hey, Marlon. Y'all, y'all have not met him yet, but y'all will. He literally lives. In New Orleans, which is where I'm born. My brother and I were born in New Orleans, the boot, Louisiana. No love that ill. And my brother Marlon, he still lived there, lived there all his, his life. For the most part. And he got the accent to prove it, child. His accent is strong, child. I speak fast, stumble over my words sometimes. My brother, he doesn't really speak fast, but he stumble over his words sometimes. Now, for me, when I get wrong, my brother and I, my, my people from New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? You heard me. Your girl get the last sent right on back while I'm in their presence. And it may linger for a little while while they're gone. But 
He got the strong and heavy. Okay. He got a show, no strong, boo. You know how some people live live a certain place for so long, like in England, and they move to like the States, or they feel like from British. They're British and they live in England or something like that. And they keep that accent, they don't never change. Like Nigeria, they don't never, that accent never, never leave. But uh, that's how he is ill. So I didn't live in New Orleans a long, long time, just a short period of time. I went to school there. I was born there, I went to school there a little bit, then I left and went to Houston. I came here to Houston and I went to another, another well, I went to Louisiana, Alexandria, Louisiana, where I went to Grammar State University and I graduated from now. But anyway, the story ill. I used to date <clears throat> a guy named Kenny Keith. I'm sweating too. Not because Kenny Keith, I ain't sweating. Because it's hot in here. And it's messy weed. So, I like this. I'm going to lip it. I like down the road. Anyway, back to the jerk. So, child, I was dating him in college. I went high school to my first year in college. And he was older than me, but I forgot how many years. Three, four, I don't know. But he can dress his tail off. Child. My husband met him before. My husband called Gene and met him. He met him in the flesh. But back in the day, Kenny Keith used to could dress his tail off, baby. He could, y'all know, go to skate ring, you know, tall, long, lanky legs, you'd be skating. You know, y'all know how they skate with it. Y'all can't sit underneath the table, but I'm just moving my legs. You know, y'all know how they do that little. Roll bounce with their legs to be shaking their little legs and stuff, their knees and stuff. Could dress, could skate, could dance, baby. Tall and lanky. So, my brother Harold, if y'all newly shows, if y'all not seen, y'all can go on back. But y'all gonna see him again though. On some videos, y'all see with my brother Harold or no. He a good looking little fella, right? He's tall and lanky. He, I'm the oldest, okay? I'm the oldest, period, period. And I'm the only girl, period. What they say now? Period, pool. So my brother Marlon, my brother Dwayne, y'all just, just hold this ketchup with him. Just keep going with me. Just, 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 just listen. You Stay focused. You'll you understand where I'm going. I'm going back as if I was in and out. My brother Marlon, my brother Dwayne are from a different mother. My mama, Mama Betty, beautiful lady. And me and Harry Jr. are from my mama Mary. Mary M. She came, she made an a impromptu cameo on the show too. And she's gonna be doing a video soon this year too. Okay? As well as Marlon. And so that's how we all have the same daddy and we have different mothers. And uh I'm the oldest, period, and the only girl, as I said. So Marlon came down. This Easter weekend, right? I'm gonna get back to Kenny Key. I'm circling around. Y'all know how I do. I go in and out. But fall at me, fall at me. Shoot. Thank you. I ain't never claimed I'd be the, to be the best storyteller storyteller ever. So child, we was going back down memory lane. We was outside sitting outside. It was the hot no, Easter weekend. We went to church already. Now, my son was outside. I had the grandkids here. My brother was here. My brother, my husband's brother was here visiting. Just drinking a little bit and talking, y'all. My brother Harold. Here he go. Going back down memory lane. That's him. Myth. My husband and my brother in law were in the garage watching the game. Me, my brother Harold, my brother Marlon, my son Demonte, we were sitting in the chair in the outside by the garage, but outside underneath in the outside of the sun in the driveway. Put it like that, the driveway. We had a chair sitting down or whatever. Harold was going to bring up Harold Jr. going to bring up Kenny Keith. Because him and Kenny Keith were like their best friends. When I was dating him, when I was in high school and college, because they both were tall and lanky. They both could dress. They both could, could dance. They could wear each other clothes. 
So women, we ain't the only ones back in the day that swap clothes. They do too. I don't know for a fact they do because my brother did it and my boyfriend at the time, Kenny Keith, they did it. They both was lanky. They both just flashy, flashy. You know, they fought their clothes. They were some sharp dresses. I ain't gonna lie. And so is my husband called Jean today. But anyway, so Shara, we, I forgot what we was talking about. We was talking about my cousins and them, and we all of us cool. My but Kenny Keith, all of us cool with my boyfriend. And so, Harold, my brother Harold gonna lean over, and he gonna, you know, we outside now. My my husband inside, right there in the garage with the garage raised up right there. Y'all know how it is. Y'all know how we do, kid folk. Miss Shelly, get mo. You know how we do, get mo. And Miss Sugar. And so, child, he gonna say, yeah. He gonna lean over. He's tall like himself. Yeah. Yeah, and, and Kenny Keith, he could do all that there. Lean it over to fall over. Yeah, and Kenny Keith was there too. And Kenny Keith, and Kenny Keith this, and Kenny Keith that. <laughs> yeah. Being messy. <clears throat> my husband already know how my brother is. No, he uh, F O O L. Look at this thing that went off again. Whatever. Hopefully, I hope y'all can hear me. I'm loud enough anyway with this messy wig. Child, he was just being messy, but he wouldn't be messy like like really messy, just messy and talking, laughing, laughing, giggles, you know, for the S, the sugar, honey, iced tea, that type of stuff. You know what I'm talking about, uh, my little nephew, uh, Zoe. So, Miss Sugar, that really wasn't like a messy story time, because he really, but I ain't really spill no tea, I ain't really say nothing, because it wasn't really nothing to tell, just that he was just saying, we were just talking about old memories on the line. Back in the deck, back in the day, and I was dating Kenny Keith at the time. And oh, I can tell you this one thing. Okay, when my grandmother passed, my uncle passed. Not my grandmother, my uncle passed. And Kenny Keith, my my grandmother passed like a month or a week before my uncle, which is my my my, my grandmother's son, my mom's brother, youngest brother. So my grandmother died. I forgot how many years ago. Okay, and then five days later, her son, which is my uncle, died. The youngest boy died. Right. I guess he couldn't take the pressure of his mama being gone, right? They were, they were, they were, um, what were they doing? They were down. My mom was down there to handle all the funeral business of my grandmother. We call him a deal, right? And my uncle Danny boy, which is my favorite uncle, which is my uncle Pop, my, uncle, my favorite uncle too. It was two, my mom had two brothers, Danny boy and Pop. And so I love both of them, but I was closer to my uncle Danny boy for some reason, but I love both of them, both of them. Okay, so he died first. And so anyway, fast forward on. My dear friend, we had my dear friend in Louisiana, Oakdale, Louisiana. Shout out to Oakdale, Louisiana. And then I think about a month later, we had Danny boys. Even though they died five days apart, we had my mom and them and my auntie. My mom's the oldest daughter, oldest child, period. And so they, um, Got together, you know, had Danny boy's funeral, right? So Kenny Keith then comes to my grandmother's funeral. He came to my my uncle's funeral. That's how my husband first met him. He came to my uncle's funeral. I guess he found out through the grapevine that he had passed. Now my brother Harold, Kenny Keith, and my uncle Danny boy, they were all cool. Boy, that was some little gangsters. I ain't gonna tell you no lie. He tell you some stories that he can tell you when he come on the tube. Gonna have y'all holding y'all stones. I'm telling y'all. I ain't even mind because it ain't nothing. We all family. I can tell you about what, what about my life. I can tell you about how I used to be because he gonna show it to you. He gonna say I was mean. He gonna say, oh, my brother gonna say I was mean. He was gonna say I ain't take no mess. He was gonna say I was ready to fight anything. My mouth was this far. I, I didn't tell y'all that, so that ain't no secret. I told y'all my mouth was a weapon. I, I, I said that before. So, but whatever else to tell you, I ain't got a problem with it because it's the truth. It is. But anyway, but if it ain't, I'm gonna let you know it ain't. So. Kenny Keith that came to, and I thought I saw Kenny Keith in the back of the funeral in the back of the church, you know. This is like before COVID, y'all. Way before COVID. So my day been passed. Maybe five years ago, I think. I'm not for sure. And I'm full. Just so y'all know, I ain't, that's why I'm through. Three, I'm full. I'm full of sugar. I'm full of these shillings. Whew. Chai. So they, and I saw Kenny Keith. So anyway, Kenny Keith came on back to the house after the church service was over. And Harold Jim was, was he going, he going to call. Um, he going to tell me, I'm ready to go. So of course I introduced Kenny Keith, excuse me, to my husband to Kenny Keith, whatever. They shook hands. You know, my husband's not mess. My, my, my husband's very respectful. And so is Kenny Keith. But Messy Harold, <laughs> his messy is gonna say, when Carl was out there loading up the car, he gonna tell Kenny, 
Uh-huh, look at Lisa. Uh-huh, Kenny Key. Look, look at what you missed out on. Lisa looking good now. She, I mean, not that I never wasn't looking good, but Lisa looking good. Uh, she, do, she doing good for herself now. Look, you messed out. Now you be messy. And I'm saying, Harry, shut up. Because Carl is right out there. Stop. Don't do that. Stop. Don't do that. And he giggling. Oh, boy. Then when Carl come in, you know, Carl already kind of looking all mad. And, and we all up in there while he out there. So I'm trying to go out there and help him a little bit. So he won't think I'm up in the chilling with Kenny Keith. Or whatever, Harry Dream meant to tell. And he know how Harry is. Because Harry's younger than us. He's younger than me. He's younger than all of us. And so, and then Carl coming back and forth, getting the stuff in, looking like, you know, face all, like he's sucking on lemons. <laughs> so I'm trying to go help him. And then Harold giggling. And then Harold, <laughs> Harold gonna tell Carl, tell him something. Carl, what, what, what's the rush? What you, why are you rushing? And my mama and them ain't got back yet. Which my mama and them hadn't. Because they were, I guess they were still at the church eating or whatever. And Carl didn't want to wait for them until they came back to say bye, nothing. We all live here in Houston. You know, my brother, my mama, we were down there in Louisiana. And he didn't want to wait till my mama to say bye, but my mama finna go. Let me tell my mama finna go. I could have called her, but he could have waited. He didn't want to wait, child, because Kenny Keith was there. Child. Me. Whew. All right, y'all. This will conclude another episode of the I Love Lisa Michelle show. This is a long video, child. I don't anyhow, you know. So, yeah, let's get this video up to five. No. I'm tired of saying five. Let's get this video up to 1,000 likes. Yeah, let's get it up there. Or you can do this if you want to. Charles, it's up to you. It's simply up to you. But you can at least give me a thumbs up for this old hot wig, even though it's kind of cute, though. Actually, it should be tall. No cap. Okay? So, and y'all go check out Miss Sugar video. I know it's like I know it's been 365 days plus oh. But y'all can still go and check it out because Sister Girl is so pretty and she's very funty. Okay? As I am. Funty and a little cute. Okay? Y'all go and check out. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She's very, very funny. Miss Sugar. M-S space S-U-G-A. Go check her out. Her link will be in the description box. Blah, 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 blah. Go check her out in her mookie bong. Hey, hey. In her mookie bong. And her messy wig. And all her mookie bonds. Go check her out. So, uh, like, comment, and share. Share on every social media platform. And subscribe so that you, you, and you can become an official Lee Shelly Ann. And ding, dong, ding. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. So that you can be reminded of every, every time your girl uploads a video. Hold up, y'all. I'm keep I keep looking up here, looking at my Yeti mic, cause it's my light is on. The light is on means it's on, but the laptop is off. I don't know, y'all. Technology, I tell you, technology. Yeah. Anyway, y'all, I love y'all. Y'all have a good day. Bye. Mwah. Peace.